Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to Astral Luck. Let's get started with today's message of the day. The very first card is Liberation. And today is 10th of December. They are already telling me that I should move to different set of cards from tomorrow. Uh, next, Miracles. And Patience. First of all, uh, liberation, what I'm seeing here is that if you are in some kind of emotional relationship with someone, it could be love, it could be just feeling compassionate about some cause, some person, some people. And there might be a situation where either you are, yourself are feeling very weak because of that or the other people are making you feel very weak because... This is how we all are conditioned that if you show love and compassion, uh, it's a sign of weakness sometimes. But if you can maintain uh, a very raw form of uh, disassociation and uh, hatred or even not getting bothered with anything, it's supposed to be seen as strength. But emotions are there constantly and you cannot escape them. And these emotions are the only medium that can help you to liberate in life, experience miracles in life. And sometimes you need to have patience to experience miracles and not keep on reacting. Yesterday, I had a miracle in my life. And only thing that I reflect is that to reach to that destination, it was almost like the whole day when I was... Remember I said I had to travel somewhere in minus 20 for a very long time and it was very cold and a lot of time spent outside. Nothing was going according to the plan. The whole day was absolutely ruthless and it was going without any kind of hope. Everything was getting delayed every time but then only thing was that i mentally decided that i don't need to react to any of this let's see where it leads to me i'll continue to uh, walk on the path i need to finish something today and i'll do that and i'll leave it to almighty whatever it happens and two days later i get a miracle in my hand because of that journey and because I continued without complaining about anything. I, I showed patience and something li like that. Uh, th they said that it was important for you to experience that and share it with others so that they can also try to do the same thing. I'm not <laughs> just boasting about myself, but it was something that... Uh, happened to me by chance and it was probably relevant to all of you here that's why i'm telling you what they're saying is that this miracle whatever you are going to experience now or you have already experienced like me some of you would have done something great in last few days and have seen some kind of tangible results because of that will lead to a path of abundance and new beginnings for you, something which is more great and achievable for you, which you always thought is not achievable. So now what the cards are telling is that you have great intentions for futures, but you need some grounding, you need to meditate, you need to uh, have Faith that whatever intentions you have, positive intentions that you have for your own future and leave everyone aside. Don't mix up your future with anyone next to you. You want to achieve something that is your goal and just stick to that. And your intentions are great. You need to meditate and you need to have faith. That's what they're saying. And gracefully accept to whatever extent you are able to manifest your intentions 
because you won't be able to manifest your intentions 100%. Some of you would only achieve 50%, but some of you might also achieve 150%. Gracefully accept either ways because uh, when it goes beyond expectation, we lose our mind with happiness. And when it goes under our expectation, we lose our mind because of sorrow. But the cards are telling that you neither have to feel happy, you neither have to feel sorrow, you have to be graceful and grounded. One final card. Okay, they gave two cards. Ecstasy and surrender. So because the, of the ecstasy card, I have a feeling that whatever your intentions are, you would go over and beyond those ex expectations because that's how ecstasy happens, that experiencing something with beyond what you were expecting in a positive way. And that's when you need to surrender your heart and your mind to the divine cosmic sun because of the this sun symbol here but then sun also represents the soul cosmic soul so you need to surrender yourself to the cosmic soul and you will see that more and more better things open up for you in future and you would simply enjoy your life Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to have a personal reading with me, visit my website astroluck.com. The link is given below. Until next time, bye-bye and namaste.